watchmaking arrived here around 1750. And uh, at this time, uh, people living here were very modest. They were farmers. I mean, uh, there was no industry at all. And little by little, they organized themselves to produce uh, some uh, marvelous watches, very complex watches. I'm always surprised to see what, what they did. They had no calculator, no computer, but they, they did amazing watches. My name is Vianney Alter. I'm a uh, watchmaker. I work in Switzerland and uh, I make uh, the watch myself by hand. In my watch, I make a small uh, representation of uh, the universe. When you, you see the watch, you open a small window on the outer world. We, we have to be very humble because uh, uh, in fact, we take inspiration from what was done before, you know. My father worked all his life in a, in a watch part factory. And my grandfather, I think he worked until 75 as a watchmaker. And uh, one day he told me, you are my only grandson watchmaker, so I want to give, to give you my, my tools. And uh, some of his tools, I, see, I still use it, you know. If you want a real accurate watch, but a quartz watch. Because a mechanical watch cannot beat a quartz watch. You have to be very, very clear about that, you know. Uh, a watch, a uh, mechanical watch, nicely made, will last, uh, I would say, for forever. If it is uh, uh, overall every five years, clean, new, new oil, it will last forever. But a quartz watch, after five, ten years, uh, you will not find a spare part anymore, you know, and uh, you cannot make it. You cannot make an electronic circuit yourself, you know. I make with the wheel, with the screw and the different pieces, the same universe uh, I, I, I have around me and uh, with, uh, for, for who I have a fascination. And uh, with the wheel, the simple wheel, I uh, make the same movement uh, than the planet and uh, it's a uh, human representation of uh, my understanding for the universe. When I look into the watch, uh, I feel like Alice uh, in Wonderland because uh, this movie is completely crazy and uh, my world is also completely crazy. Each watch is unique because I make by hand, but it's unique because it's just one action of creation. Each time when you finish, you have the memory of this, of the, of the making, of the tool, of the oil, of the people around. And uh, when the story is finished, the time is again uh, a reality. And it's, I don't like the reality of the real time. I prefer my reality in my time. If you don't uh, have this human intervention on the material, uh, the material don't live. When I decided to make the simplicity, from the first sketches until the, the exhibition in Basel, it took me two years now. Some people are waiting two or three years to get their watch, but no one ever complained. They, they are happy to wait. That means they know at a certain time somebody is going to start their watch. And this is uh, it's just uh, marvelous.
I always say the value beside the gold or platinum case is uh, what we add. And we spend a lot of hours, days, uh, uh, making things nice, nice finishing. And in fact, it's, it's what gives the value uh, of, the, of the product. Uh, when you compare with the, with the mass produced watches, you know, we produce watches with a, with a soul. It's, as I told you, maybe my, my mission. To slow down the process uh, we are living today. You know? The process today is to make everything uh, cheaper and faster and to sell very expensive. But nobody has a view uh, for the next five or 10 years. They don't want to, to, to see so far. And I think sometimes the product is losing something. A certain uh, soul, a certain aim, and em no emotion, in fact. I try to, to to do my best that the watch will 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 uh, will go through generations, and I, and I know it will go through. Um, when when we make the watch by hand, each watch have a lot imperfection, and for me the perfection is this uh, this um, quantity of imperfection. Parfait is not pure. It's not pure for me because perfect is too mathematic. Uh, two uh, plus two, it's four. Okay. But if you uh, find a new uh, equation and uh, the result is not four, it's five, you don't understand. It's not perfect, it's fault, your, uh, your reflection. But you search for find why you think is this. And during this process, I think you live. You understand, you live, because your brain works in this time. I used to say that uh, uh, my watches are, are selfish. Because nobody is going to stop you in, in London, for example, say, hey, you are wearing a default. No, no. Because nobody re recognizes. Okay? So people who chose the watch because they understood the watch. It's funny because people uh, are rediscovering the fact of wind it watch. They lost it because the quartz watch is automatic, but to wind it, to, to listen to the click, click, click of the, of the winding mechanism, you know, it, it's, it, people are, are, are crazy about that. They realize also without them the watch is dying, so you have to feed your watch every day and you create this relation. Every time a watchmaker uh, go on retirement, uh, we are losing uh, something. And I said, for example, Switzerland is, a, is a, about 400 years of watchmaking history in Switzerland. It's a book, uh, book thick like that. And every time a watchmaker go on retirement, there's a page missing. And this page, you will never replace it. That's for sure. And it's not only watchmaking. In all uh, craft, craftsmen, in every profession, could be cabinet maker, could be hey, we are losing every day, every day more. And the day, one day, we realize, but we lost everything. We have to, to we have to, um, how to say, to, to reinvent. You know, it will be too late.